Augmented reality enhances the real world with immersive digital content. The potential of augmented reality is immense, but providing a seamlessly rich and immersive spatial experience across all network conditions is challenging. This year, we demonstrate how dynamic distributed compute can unlock boundless augmented reality experiences, while also enabling sleek form factor AR glasses with long battery life. A typical AR application involves various spatial compute workloads, including rendering of augmented reality graphics on the user's field of view. This can be executed either on an edge server or the device itself. Remote rendering on edge server enables higher quality graphics and lower device power consumption, while local rendering on the device provides a more ubiquitous AR experience and lower 5G network utilization. In this demo, we showcase an AR experience using a dynamically distributed compute system with a companion compute device and the cloud. This system intelligently switches between remote and local rendering based on current radio conditions. This demo was recorded on our over-the-air 5G sub-7 gigahertz test network using Ericsson infrastructure a wireless AR smart viewer reference design powered by Snapdragon AR2 Gen 1 platform that uses Wi-Fi 6 and a companion Snapdragon mobile platform that has both 5G and Wi-Fi connectivity. Our technology partner, Hololite, provided the streaming solution and a separate AR application built using the Snapdragon Spaces XR developer platform. The demo begins with the AR user in remote rendering mode, where the graphics are rendered at the edge server. The 5G radio and network conditions are good with light loading and good user throughput, leading to a great AR experience. The user's head pose and hand tracking information flows from the AR glasses to the phone over Wi-Fi and from the phone to the edge server over 5G. The server processes the data and sends back the encoded graphics via the phone to the glasses using a high bandwidth 5G link. As 5G radio and network conditions become more challenging and more users load the network, the user experience begins to suffer, resulting in stuttering and unresponsiveness in the application. To address this issue, our distributed compute engine on the phone dynamically detects degradation in 5G radio and network conditions and enables the application to switch to local rendering mode. In this mode, the rendering is performed locally on the phone, which improves the AR user experience. The user's head pose and hand tracking information still flows from the AR glasses to the phone and the rendered graphics are streamed back from the phone over Wi-Fi. Notice that the switch from remote to local rendering is smooth, providing an uninterrupted user experience. This is achieved by keeping the server and phone in sync using the 5G link to exchange application state information. As the 5G network conditions improve, the dynamic distributed compute engine on the phone enables the application to toggle back to remote rendering, enabling the AR user to once again experience higher quality graphics, and reduce device power consumption. In conclusion, our dynamic distributed compute and system level optimizations are making immersive and ubiquitous AR experiences possible with high quality graphics, improved network utilization, and improved device power efficiency. Stay tuned for future advancements in this area as we continue to push the boundaries and create even more seamless and efficient AR experiences.